All right, we are back to uh, disassemble uh, this Samsung Nexus. Our true goal on this phone is to replace the power button as it has stopped working. Um, it just won't power on. Uh, you can see this is the original Nexus. I need a couple of uh, tools here, a couple of pry tools, a uh, plastic razor blade, and then this uh, possibly this iSesimal tool to help us get into uh, the actual phone itself. I also like to use uh, well, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, and then I like to use a dental pick uh, to help pry up cables and uh, some taped down boards and things of that nature as we get into the phone. Here's our new power button that we're going to be replacing on this phone. Uh, we'll do a little bit more, a little bit more out of the phone, but uh, that would be our real goal on this. The first thing to do is go ahead and remove the back cover, starting from the top, and go ahead and pull it out, just on, on uh, clips, and pull out the battery. If you have a SD card um, or a, uh, a SIM card in here, you want to make sure you pull that out. I'm going to go ahead and undo all the silver screws on the back here, uh, one by one. Now, I do have a few issues when I try to take screws out of these uh, backs of these phones with these uh, metal or these uh, black plastic casings. Sometimes they get stuck in there, and you can use a pair of tweezers to help pull them out. Uh, it's not really imperative that you, you take them out, but uh, as you start to pry the plastic portion up uh, around the screen, sometimes they shoot out and they, they get lost in carpet or, or things like that. So it's easier just to go ahead and pull them out. Pull out a pair of tweezers here so I can't get them out. Sometimes they're kind of tricky to get out, even with tweezers. Uh, they like to stick in there at the threads. All right, making good progress onto uh, I think it's the fourth screw so far. The goal is to uh, pry up the glass here. Now, you actually, the, the casing where the power buttons are connected um, will come off. You're going to put it in between uh, the housing and the LCD glass uh, using a pry tool. Um, where my thumb's at, you can push on that area and get a little bit of pressure as that black area will stay. And we're actually removing the housing around the outside of that. You can see me starting to separate it. Um, once you get uh, the one side done, go ahead and move to the other side and do the same thing. Push through the battery area, and that will give you that separation that you're looking for. That reveals our logic board and all our connectors that we have on the interior of the phone here. A couple connectors here. And we have our volume button, power button area as well. We're going to go ahead and release this uh, connector down here for... Uh, the volume button and our cable to the antenna attached at the bottom there. Take off this top connector and the middle connector here. And we're just unsealing the power button. It is stuck to the frame of the phone. All right, and we can go ahead and remove our logic board. So here's our power button. Really the goal of this whole entire thing was to replace that, so, but we'll remove a, a few more things from the interior of the phone. Um, the volume button can stay in there, so we're not going to have to remove that. This is your uh, rear-facing camera, uh, so if you need to replace that in your front-facing camera as well, you can uh, separate those if you need to. Go ahead and take the power button off. and put our new power button on. Sometimes you get a little bit tricky. There we go.
We're going to go ahead and remove the charging port down here. There's one screw that holds this bottom connection in, so we're going to go ahead and remove it. Then we'll use our dental pick to go ahead and pry this assembly out, uh, working from the back end here kind of forward. And then on the corner here, it will go ahead and pop out for us. There's a connector right here on the left-hand corner, so make sure you undo that. Our volume button here, we're going to go ahead and just uh, undo this. It is a double-sided sticky tape if you need to take that off. You can pry this cable up all the way down. It's just held on with a little bit of tape that will help you remove the charging port and replace that. The loudspeaker up here at the top. We're going to go ahead and put um, our logic board back in. As so we've done what we need to do. Pull this volume connector out. Make sure it seats in there nicely. Double check the front facing camera. Make sure it's in there nice and snug. And start putting our connectors back on. Putting our a volume connector back on to the logic board. Putting our power button back on. And our wire connector here. These can be a little bit tricky. Um, make sure you use moderate force but don't uh, don't bend them they are a little easy to bend when you're reattaching them putting our bottom connection back in and making sure we connect our connector here screw back in. We're going to stick down our power button and just make sure it sticks. If you need to, you can use some 3M double-sided sticky tape here as well. I believe it will stay for us. We're just going to double check to see if this phone is going to power on for us. It may be completely dead. We may have to use a, a power cable here to get to a little bit of life back into the phone. It has been sitting for quite some time. All right, let's plug that in. There we go. May have to let it charge here for a second. go. Power button works for us. It's going to go ahead and power the phone on. Looking good. There we go. We saw that the power on happened. Go ahead and just remove our battery and we'll go ahead and put the uh, housing back on the phone here. And click it into place. Make sure our button still functions properly. And we're going to put our screws back into the back of the phone. Definitely a pretty easy fix for this phone, nothing too tricky. Um, exact same method for the volume button. Uh, the connection is just at the top of the logic board rather than the back of the logic board. Um, if you need to replace your camera or your front facing camera, um, all you do is unconnect the connector and put it back in. Uh, the charging ports, uh, the ribbon cable is kind of stuck down some double sided tape, so you want to be careful if you're prying that up. 
uh, make sure that you've undone all of the screws that would be holding it down to before you input your new charging port. This phone is uh, fairly basic when it comes to uh, uh, those things. So we'll go ahead and put our back connection on here real fast. may have to use power again. I'm going to double check the power button and make sure that it is functioning properly for us. Alright, so there we go. If you go ahead and uh, like this video if you found it useful. Oh, you can go ahead and subscribe to me. I have a few more upcoming projects happening in Note 2 um, and a couple of iPads, uh, iPad 1 and iPad 2. Let's go ahead and change the glass on those. Uh, so thanks for watching my video, and I hope to see you guys watching my uh, video here soon as well.